for plans specific to your zip code with doctors and hospitals. Please press 5 now and start saving on health insurance, Medicare, or Medicaid today. Approval is guaranteed. Chances are you've received a call similar to that one today. The average person gets about 10 robocalls a day, but now the FCC is taking action. Consumer investigator Steve Sprasia digging deeper tonight into those changes. This is just a portion of them. Joyce Mormon is plagued by robocalls. They start about 7.30 in the morning and they don't stop to about four in the afternoon. It's just constantly ringing back to back all the time. If I block that number, they'll find another number to call on. And she's not alone. I receive robocalls at home, in my office, on my landline, on my mobile. As a result, many Americans, myself included, rarely answer their cell phones unless the number is already in their contact list. What would you like to see done as a, as a consumer? I would like them to find a way to block just block them from calling us all together. Now the FCC is doing just that. Approved. Giving wireless phone companies the right to block robocalls automatically without needing your permission. But the change might not completely block all robocalls. One reason, many of those scam robocalls don't originate here. These criminals are not in the United States. They're abroad. Uh, and so they don't really care about the niceties of our laws. It depends on what you mean by a robocall, because there are certain calls that customers receive, say, from their financial institution, maybe at the time of elections, where some people may want to receive them, some people may not. But it should offer relief to people like Joyce Mormon. It's just frustrating that somebody keep calling you every 15, 20 minutes during the day. And this is seven days a week? Seven days a week. If for some reason you want to keep getting robocalls, you can opt out of that free blocking service. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia. Steve, 